Okay guys, today we're going to teach you how to build frog lamp farm. Frog lamps are insanely cool. They come in three colors, the green, the purple, and the yellow. And they're all spectacular. They're going to fit your build so well and you're going to want a lot of them. So today we're going to learn how to get a lot of them. This farm produces around 400, I mean 4,200 per hour or so. Um, you can add more floors and maybe get a few more, but right now I think we're, that's about it. You might be able to get to 5,000 an hour, but really, I mean, are, are you a hermit? Do you really need that many? I mean, if you do, you can always put more layers to it. That's the only limit on this farm as far as I know. So, this is uh, my little farm. I've got decorated up. We're not going to go into the decorations. That's up to you. This is just a variation on the Shulker Craft Magma Cube farm. Instead of having magma blocks in the middle to hurt these guys and then having uh, someone pick them up, what we've got here is we've got like a nice little lead down where the small ones are going to bounce up against here and they're just going to fall all the way down to the frogs at the bottom. The frogs at the bottom are going to be killing the uh, cubes that fall down into the one uh, wide slot and then they will turn right into frog lamps and immediately be picked up by the hopper mine carts. This is a very simple farm, it's very easy to build, no complicated redstone at all, it needs to be done in a basalt delta is the first thing you need, and then on the nether roof there. So other than that, it's pretty simple, and uh, I think it looks pretty sweet when you get it in there and you decorate it up, it's just a nice looking build. But yeah, I really like this farm and it pumps out. The hardest part for you guys is uh, going to be putting frogs in there from different parts of the world and getting them up to the nether ceiling, which I'm sure is going to be just loads of fun. And I assume just minecart after minecart of frogs coming up to the ceiling. So, let's, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Get started building this farm. We've got to build our spawning platform or our starting platform area. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by nine. Seven, there we go. Nine by nine platform. Okay, easy peasy. We're going to take redstone all the way across the middle to keep the uh, cars powered. We're going to be putting some minecart rails here to collect the 4,000 plus frog lamps. We'll be spawning every hour. All right, so. Go ahead and lay these down, and we're going to get rid of those. If you want to come in, we got to put in our storage room, like this, and throw in your block, throw in your hoppers. You guys know how this goes. Yep, there we are. All right, now we just need some rails. Always go all the way to the end. Let's take it all the way. Powered rails. That powers them all the way to the end. No reason to not just use all powered rails. If you don't have any, I guess you could find some way to power them, but all the way, you can power them at the end, but just much easier. Just use powered rails as they are. Make sure you do them in the right order so they don't link up accidentally. There we go. All right, now we just toss them on. Minecart hoppers going back and forth. Now that we've built our uh, minecart system to pick up all of our thousands, thousands of frog lights, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill this area in with glass um, or whatever solid block you want to use. Um, you don't even have to use solid block, but since we're using mine carts, you can, obviously. It won't disturb anything. Just cover them up nice and neat. Okay. And then, we're just going to go straight up from there. I'm going to do two rows of glass. And we're going to do another look row of uh, warped wood on top of that, just for looks. But just basically, you just want three air block uh, sections here. 
Uh, this top one won't be seen very much, so I'm not even worried about doing variation in it like we did with the bottom. There we go. Alright. And there we have that. We're going to get it some frogs. Um, we're going to bring them in at this point and just go ahead and fill them up. It's uh, as many as you can or want. I usually, I've been doing about a dozen. That seems to be plenty, so I will not worry too much about it. And then we'll go one more up above that. So there we go. Alright. Pretty simple. At this point, since you're not in survival, what I would do is put some glass over these guys so they can't jump out. Or whatever block you have a bunch of. And just fill it up so they can't jump out. Then, you don't have to worry about losing your hard earned. Because getting these guys up to the nether ceiling is going to be tough. So, no use in letting them spill out. You'll eventually just knock all these blocks out. And they'll just get picked up by the uh, the hoppers down below. And you can collect them there. So, not a big deal. Wouldn't even worry about it. So, next thing we need to do is build the spawning platform. We've got a, uh, a nice little radius here. 12 out on each side, five from the middle, then two, 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 one, two, 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 one, um, around the entire thing. I'll throw those dimensions up now. Now we gotta build the spot for our uh, iron golem and the spawning platform. So we're gonna do bottom slabs. We'll pull it out three here. The frogs might jump. That's okay, you can just put them back down. We'll do a three by three in the middle for our iron golem and then outside of that we're going to do bottom slabs all the way around the outside. And this just gives them a little lip for the little small ones to get kind of stuck on. This is a, just adds a little bit of uh, bounce back on that. Now inside of this, just keep pushing those guys back in. Uh, you can always put like a little glass ceiling here to keep them in while you're doing the step if you need. Here we're going to put middle out here and we'll go outside we're going to put them outside you can do this in whatever formation you want to i just think this one looks the best uh, you can do inside uh, you can do all of them outside if you want i just feel like the closer they can get to the iron golems the better that's why we're using th this instead of fence posts i did fence posts and they worked okay uh, you probably leave those too if you really want to but um but they were just getting caught on the lip here, and then so when I put in the trap doors, they stopped getting caught on the lip. So, once we got those up, it keeps the iron golem in, keeps those guys from jumping on top of the iron golem. Um, eventually, once we put our roof over the head, throw in our iron golem, there we go. Alright, and then we just need to build up the next layers uh, to the top. So we'll go with that, we'll do the same thing here, and uh, we'll keep going. Three layers high, and then boom, and then boom. So yeah, it keeps it nice and contained. Nobody's gonna get on top of his head, and that's the platform for the next iron golem. So pretty simple here. We're gonna just build this up three times, and then we'll uh, we'll get to the. Uh, I guess. Also, obviously, we want, um, what I like to do is glass on the outside, so as you can see in. I like glass farms, um, I like being able to see what's going on, obviously you can do whatever design you want, for this it doesn't matter at all, so but just do your three high and then uh, whatever you're going to do for your next spawn platform. Alright, so the next step on this farm is we've got the gas proof. As you can see I've already got some of this in, I'll show you how to do this pattern. Um, I think this pattern looks great and it's uh, spawn proofs uh, from gas. As you know, gas will spawn above any spawnable block that has three by three around it. So we've got to fix that. So what we do is we just go through here and every other one uh, of the outside rows, we'll just pull in the column of glass like this. And then when we get to the middle, we have um, a little bit of a curve here. And that keeps them one block apart the whole time. and gives us a nice pattern. And we just follow that around here. And we just do the same thing all the way across. It's very simple um, to do. It doesn't take long. It's just a little glass, and it just I think it really adds a nice touch. Obviously, you can do whatever color pattern you want to do with this, but I just think it ends up working out so well. And you just curve it around there, get a nice symmetrical pattern to uh, prevent the gas. 
So, obviously, when you're not creative, you won't do it like this. And then, there you go. And then you end with just a nice little corner there. It gives it a little pin in and gives it some sort of movement to the pattern. I really like this pattern. Again, the main thing is you just want to not have any place for gas to spawn. So, I uh, hope that helps out with that. Uh, also, in the middle here, I've got this one bottom slab here, so it's not spawnable as well, and surrounded by glass, so it's fine, and then we're good to go on that. So, I think this just looks so nice. Um, I use the, uh, the platform here to keep them from bouncing further into his head, so that just, just a little bit extra pushback so that he gets, keeps putting them down in there, and they keep filtering all the way to the bottom to our frogs waiting below. So again, the main thing you want to do is just make sure these little small magma cubes fall straight down into uh, there, but you want to filter out the bigger ones, so we're all good. Now that we've finished our gas proofing, there's only one last step, and that is to throw the spawn platform up top so we get maximum spawns in the nether uh, ceiling. I don't go too crazy about it but what I'm doing is I'm going a hundred blocks above our spawn platform uh, the bottom spawn platform so that we get all of those in there and uh, there's not a lot of spawns in the roof of the nether so there we go there's our guy I just put little bottom platforms there and then we can uh, whoop, whoop. boom and you just sit up here and you wait for your frog lamps to spawn so that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, obviously uh, as we talked about you can add your own storage unit to the, here to separate out your frog lamps, um, I think it's super necessary but it's always fun to do auto sorting and uh, in creative we can only spawn pearlescent frog lights so it didn't matter too much here. But I hope this is helpful, enjoy your uh, 1.19 experience. Come check out Autocrafts. We're starting up third season very soon. Just watch my channel for those uh, episodes to start flowing. And come back for more tutorials. We've got lots of cool 119 stuff to work on. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time. Goodbye.